the hall. Very creative, Mr. Wells. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer that you say. Yet the body was found in Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes, from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm. Indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? She had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Uh, interesting. Let's hear it. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Easy. The van. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the Studio Van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume. Hold on, Wright. Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course he was. Of course Sal Manella but has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done it all that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? Silence. Um, so, what happens next? Don't question mark me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, so it was you! You killed Jack Hammer! More silence. Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. But, that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Uh, 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 uh of course, it, as the witness says... Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but, uh, there's no proof. Edward isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Er, what do I do now? You did it. Miss Vasquez, you did it! That wasn't a question. Um, did you do it? No. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? I'm not sure that question helped this court get any closer to a verdict. Right, testify again. I'd like you to testify again. No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, you'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. so far only to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end this cross-examination of the witness, Ms. Benson. Wait a second! Edgeworth coming in with an objection? What?! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth, I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting your mom. I didn't. I see. Very well. 
Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I I just want to hear your testimony again. Does that does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Well, yes, um indeed. Verily I say, ergo. I want her I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hmm. Nick, why did Edgeworth who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But but wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that. Edgeworth. I was with Sal and Obag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. The security lady Obag was quite agitated, pointing at Powers saying, He did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close, real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her neck. Right. Okay, still not over. Here we go. Blah, blah, yep. Immediately call the police. Security lady was agitated. Has to be left out of the proceedings. Went back to the trailer. Press! The script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. I wouldn't do them with. I wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Press harder! Wait a second! I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue. Edgeworth raising another objection! I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think! Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have to know about the murder before going to Studio One! Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth! What have you, what you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change for defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. How? Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in the with the defense. What kind of court is this? This is a court of justice, ma'am. No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured. He couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. Hold on a second! How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal, the director. Hmm. Show the photo. You knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers! What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. 